Um, I mean, but what do you think about the new generation of games? I mean, obviously you come from an area where you know it was like VF2 and Tekken, uh, when it, you know Tekken 2 and uh, Super Turbo. That's like, when I was good at them. That's when I was good at games. But yeah. you know what I mean is like super technical area. You know, Virtual Fighter 3 and you know those very, uh, very, very harsh, very strict. You know, sort of game plan type things where <laughs> yeah. you know there was A or B option only, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, or A, B, and C, and there was an answer for everything. So there was exactly. literally no breathing space whatsoever. Yeah. How do you think you know games have evolved since then? Yeah, because now like there are so many like escape options and yeah. stuff, and meters and bars and yeah. stuff like that. So before it was, I think it was easier to condition people to do something that you wanted them to do so because there's only like two or three options yeah, now there's yeah. like five options it's hard to condition your opponent so it's yeah. more like about option selects and setups and stuff now and meter management that's something i'm not that good at doing to be honest i can't really sometimes i i just so i rely so much on doing like a, a <coughs> dragon a dragon uh, yeah a dragon punch to make it safe, I just automatically just assume it's there, and right. I, I don't look at my bar before I, I do see. that. But so the thing it, is, like back in the day, mm, yes. we we never had a bar to make a dragon punch safe. If you chose to do a dragon <laughs> punch, check it out. If you wanted to do a dragon punch, you just did, you just did it because that so was your guess. It was a full commitment. Exactly. Right. Right. Now. I have the same mentality as I'm gonna commit to doing a dragon punch, but yeah. I input this, I input the focus to cancel it anyway. And if I have the bar, then it's all good. And if you like, don't, well, yeah, if I don't, then oh, I, then I've I just, see. I've just played like I used to play back I in the see. day. You see. So the analysis process doesn't start from what your conditions on the screen are. You know, if you have the meter, then I, you'll gauge that as an option. Yeah, no, you I won't don't look do at that. It like that. Oh, I'm I like, see. okay, I'm gonna do a dragon punch anyway during this block string. Not mash it, but I know, like, I'm gonna just do a dragon punch. There's a hole here. Yeah. I can get through this string. I'm going in. Exactly. Right. Okay. But if I see that it's blo getting blocked, because Akuma can cancel on any of the three hits, yeah. yeah? So then I'll, I'll cancel it. Yeah. If it was but painting. what you're saying is you don't actually check to see I if know. you have the pass to cancel it before <laughs> I know you I shouldn't be dragon. saying this. This is so budget, <laughs> man. People are going to oh, be wow. laughing at me on the no, screen. No, no, no. Well, I don't think so. I mean, you don't know. Maybe there are others out there who also have a similar issue. Yeah. Maybe it's not in the same, exactly the same area, but they have an issue where, you know, the, the components on the screen are kind of too much to take in all at the same time. <laughs> you make me sound like some <laughs> old fart who can't, who can't have all the different like bars. Uh, what's, what's that flashing blue like three blocks at the bottom there? What does that do? Like yeah, some old man. Well, I mean, you know, this is this is something that's changing all the time. Every new game that comes out has new ways to use meters. Has yeah. a new, a new, a new. You know, a commodity that's new to the fighting game, yeah. uh, to the to the, it's yeah. to the series or to the franchise, or whatever. Yeah. Honestly, so, now though, yeah. I do I do actually look at the bar Are you sure? more often now. Not not to do you make want me to give you reminders. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Every before you go into matches, I can send you text alerts yeah, wherever yeah, you want. Yeah, you can set, you can set up an account with me, yeah. Yeah. and I can send you text alerts. <laughs> I'll, if you register, want. I'll register. I'll register. Oh man, but yeah. But, but okay, so here's the thing now. Would you say that having an option that allows you to make the Dragon Punch safe, is that actually decreasing your your kind of your skill, your you know, are you not needing to utilize like perception in how you read your opponent anymore? Like do you think that that's actually weakening okay, your I feel that if yeah. uh, uh, you mean for me to the Dragon Ball, anyone's ability to Yeah, do in it. general, would yeah. you say that that's something that's now taking away from Yeah, d uh, I see what you mean like I think that now like People, uh, how, what am I trying to say? It's like I think that uh, maybe if if people can do that, you, that has that's not a commitment anymore. So it's not like you're they can <coughs> still throw it out and make it safe. So it's not like so so their response can still seem random at times. Right, right. Now if they if they couldn't cancel it, they would think twice about doing that. And I'd of course. I'd, I'd I'd be able to walk in and throw them or. Or throw them from a uh, well. This is the thing. Well, not everyone does but, a dragon I mean, in between but, a block but what, 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 like, is what it? Trying to say but exactly, yeah. is it necessarily better that you have to make a full commitment with every big move? Does that make? I no, mean, no, who's no, to no, say that that necessarily makes a better yeah, game? Yeah, exactly. It's just because what we're used to. It's just what we've been better. accustomed to yeah, yeah. because that's what we've been. That's what we've been fed over yeah. the years. But I think there's just more more now to. Um, to take notice of on the screen now. There's yeah. like, it's, it's, it's an extra aspect to the game now with the bars there. So, so would you say now, games are deeper now? Does that add yeah, yeah, they, layer definitely, of depth? Yeah, there's, there's more to think about. There's yeah. more to, to take notice of. Mm. Like, uh, all right, let's just take this game that we're yeah. watching right now, Street yeah. Fighter Cross Tekken. You've got three bars yeah. there. 
All right, which means you can do an EX move. Yeah. You can do a, a alpha counter. Yeah. Which uses a bar. You can cancel a move and tag in. Yeah. All right, which that uses a bar as well. Or you can do a super. Or you a can do a super, super which uses custom. two bars. So yeah. you need to check if you've got two bars. You can yeah. do like a, a cross combo with your two. To, with your whole team, which uses all three bars. Right, right. So that's all just with the bars. Yeah. Now, what about the energy bar now? There's, you've got the grey energy, mm. which if you throw someone, they lose all of their like red energy or right, whatever. Right. Okay. And red energy is the replenishable health. Exactly. Yeah. That's the energy yeah. that they can get back if yeah. they're sort of resting. Yeah. Um, there's also um, when you get like say to 15 or 20 percent, you yeah. have the Pandora can be activated. Mm -hmm. Now you've also also got the 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 gems, hmm. which can be activated. Not one, two, but three gems, right. which all get activated in different ways. So you have to remember if you've done four special moves, right. for example, right. or if you've blocked four special moves, yeah. or if you've teched two throws, or you know. So you have to remember that as well. Then the and then time. You have, exactly. Yeah. Time, but time is in all the games. So that, that's. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm t but, I'm but I think in this game. Time is such a big yeah, importance. I, guess, yeah. I mean, you know, I think in the other fighting games, you can more or less focus on everything else until the time gets to a certain yeah, point. I but on this game, because it's you've always got it's so the... because a round can be just so long-winded, yeah. you need to kind of always have an idea of where the clocks are. You know, yeah, because I, I guess, you, yeah. you can really get caught out. You know, all of a sudden there's 20 seconds left and you, yeah. you're down by half a bar. You know, yeah. so. like if there's like a lot of time left, you can you can play a certain way. Yep. Yeah, right. so that that's the stream. Well, that's cool. not actually on though. Uh, why isn't it on? <laughs> uh, uh, refresh that. No, don't. No. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Just don't press F5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. No Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Better now. Okay. Alright, we're okay, good. Okay, so yeah. we're good. Right, yeah. so what we do is we just... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, All right. cool. So yeah, we were just uh, kind of saying that. Uh, all, uh, so we were going through all the things. We were just talking about Pandora. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we we're talking about the gems. Right. That's gems. right. Well, we're talking about all the different things that you have to be yeah. aware of now in a match. Yeah. So now compare that to Virtual Fighter, for example, well, the game I mean, which is like okay, your so, favorite so, game. Yeah. Well, back then I don't know about obviously now. It's so different. so Virtual Fighter. I mean, obviously you have to be aware of. Um, I mean, it's more. Uh, let's look at the bars. It's more physical. Though. It's not. It's not necessarily components that the game provides. It's more. Just the characters against the characters, you know, yeah. really more, much more bare bones than anything now. Yeah. So, you know, you're looking at the stage. The stage was a big thing on BF, you know, Before, whether it's a, whether it's an angled stage, oh, whether yeah. it's a an, an endless stage, whether there are walls, things like yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. So, stage was a big thing. Obviously, time not so much because the the moves took a lot of energy. But um, looking at the way your opponent moves around the screen. Does, yeah. he, does he move forwards and backwards? Does he like to dodge in and out? Yeah, Things like this. Just to, like, just to stop you just, just there yeah, for a sec. Yeah. Like, we were talking about the bars. And, there wasn't really anything. It was just, it so was let's just, compare it was, that aspect so it, of well, it in, to in, the, the In that sense, there was just an energy bar and the time. Three buttons. Three buttons, an, an energy, energy bar, bar and, and the, the time. clock. And That's that was it. it. Yeah. Nothing more than that. Yeah. So yeah. where did your mind have to be? Where could you use all your brain power on? Where could you it was, just, it was all focused on the actual fight itself. On the actual fight, the, the mind games, condition yeah. your opponent. Yeah, yeah. That was all Now was compare about. that with this game, with all of those bars, you've got to think about the pan I I'm not going to go through them all again, but yeah. I mentioned about at least 10 different things mm. outside of you, you pressing the buttons and doing yeah. a combo that yeah. you had to think about. Well, I mean, what I can see here is there's definitely an element of the fact that the game components do a lot, do some of the work for you, do some of the labor. Yeah. You know, now you've got chain combos where you don't actually have to time the combo. The game provides a system yeah. that allows you to open up your opponent for attack yeah. without you needing to specifically time a combo to some sort of perfection. Yeah, Whereas exactly. on the older games, yes. because that was all you had, you had to really put in that timing and get the max damage out of you know your your skill set and what you yeah. can provide. So um, <laughs> someone's just. I I, li I do like that though. Look. I, I, I remember that. I, I wasn't going to hit him, but I thought, you know what? He needs to get licks. And yeah, I let him go. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> I, 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 I didn't need to spin around with it, but I just thought, you know what? Let me just spin with this as well. <laughs> <laughs> what we can do is we could... Like, like, yeah, yeah. We're going to... We can actually put this little gif yeah. on stream. Yeah. So I'm going to, after this match, yeah. I'll put the gif on stream. You just talk us through what, why what, you actually what I was hit going through, Mago yeah. in the back of the head okay. like that, yeah? So right. But right, not right now. Yeah, after yeah, the match, afterwards. Yeah? Right, that's we'll that. Yeah, that's too sick. <laughs> 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 I've never done anything like this, man. This is too epic, man. 
So let me just put that in there and make, get it ready for when you're going to explain. Yeah. Basically, um. <laughs> yeah. Right, so. Cool. Alright, so that's fine. We'll minimize that for a sec. So, yeah, we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's the my grin goodness. on I their know, faces. I know, I know, and the, the lick <laughs> is so militant as well. It's just too raw. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, I do. I do love that gif. I, I wish I knew who created that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what would you do to him? Oh, the, the guy who created it. What would you do to him? Would you actually? No, I would actually like if, if I saw him at an event, I'd actually go up and shake his hand. I'd be like, that is. <laughs> that gave me such a good laugh. You know, like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've seen the original as well, you yeah, know, so yeah. I've seen the original oh, and I've seen yeah. the edited one afterwards and they're both so hilarious. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Oh man, so I was getting, yeah, so. Yeah, so, so um, you know, so it was very bare bones saying, back in the day, nothing, not much to consider. But yeah, so nowadays, you know, obviously games are giving you um, easier options, you know, better, uh, easier ways to open your opponents up and stuff like that. Now, I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily, you know, I wouldn't say that because the game helps you out now, games are easy and you know you can win easier and stuff like that in that sense. But I think overall, there's definitely sort of less to consider in that sense because you know you will get that support that the game offers as well. Yeah, Ryan, check your text message when from Rich. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will do. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. more bare bones and, and, and less to think, think about back, yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah. So. Do you like that there's more to think about now? Well, I mean, is I it, think it's just it natural evolution. They've had to sort of offer more to make everything, you know, to kind of give a, a fresh appeal to, to new games as they came out. They can't, yeah. keep, they can't always keep it the same. Um, there are things I like in it and things I don't like in it, you know? So it's, uh, I can't say yes or no, you know, um, yeah. as such. But I, I guess, I think that for me, some things are... Um, you know, very good. Like I, th I think that obviously, you know, now that games are two on two, for example, there's, there's team aspects in, in in a fighting game. That's really good. Yeah, that's not too bad, I think that having um, ways to be really creative, like in Cross Tekken, um, that you can tag from any move when you want to by just you know using a bar and stuff like that, does allow you to be very very inventive with what you use your team to do and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, there are there are things like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah you know, and um, I don't like uh, buffs like an X Factor type thing. Yeah. You know, I don't like Rage on Tekken. You know, oh, okay. we used to call yeah. it Netsu, but yeah. I, I don't like Rage on Tekken because I don't see a I don't see a need for it. Mm. The game will play out perfectly if you leave it as it is. You know, the game will play out perfectly if you let it. You know, just let it just let it rock. You know, just let it go as as it, as it would go, and 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 someone will win, someone will lose. Yeah. Um, one thing that we've one thing that you know uh, we've lost in fighting games now is that sort of Daigo Justin Wong element where yeah. in a game you can have a legitimate comeback yeah. which wasn't to do with any buffs that you were given as um, as a game mode you know nothing that the game modes provide it's just your raw skill and ability to hold yourself together under pressure and come up with a, a strategy you know formulate that strategy to, to get the victory now it's just the game offers you that yeah. by get, by powering up your characters when you're you know when it's when it's close to curtains basically, okay. yeah, yeah. and I, and I don't think that that's um, I don't think it's as rewarding to win like that either. Yeah, it's not as rewarding as a serious competitor if you're playing in a you know a sporting event. It's not that rewarding to get the win that way. You know, imagine well, in basketball. Like imagine in basketball. Okay, so you know you've you've got one team. That's uh, that's got a hefty lead. Maybe they've had uh, a few more three pointers, um, you know, than the other team, and they they built up a, a big lead. Yeah. But now, because it's last quarter, every point that the losing team gets is doubled. Yeah. <laughs> so when they get a two-pointer, it counts for four. And when they get a three-pointer, three it counts for six. Just because they're makes losing, no sense at all. And it's the last quarter; they go into rage mode, and all that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is what I'm saying. If they won like that, yeah. could we really say that they were the better team? No. That, this yeah. is what I'm saying, and this is what games has introduced. This is what rage mode is. Rage mode is something that just allows a player's abilities to get, you know, vamped up, and now he's super strong. Yeah. Anything you get hit by is almost, you yeah, know. That, that actually does not make so, yeah, sense. So yeah, you know, I mean, if if if, if um, sort of game developers ever want gaming to be recognised as a proper sport, things yeah. like that have to end. You know, if if it's going to be something Actually, that's, that's true, exactly. Yeah, There's if, no, if, like if, tennis as well. I yeah, you know, it, it, gaming is never going to get past a certain point if 
you're always going to introduce these elements that make it not about the players anymore, not about the team, not about the ability of the players, what they're bringing to the table. Yeah. And uh, this is one thing that I think all these, uh, you know, X Factor type things have have, have, have taken away from. Yeah. from they take, they've, they've, they've stripped us of that beauty of watching a, an amazing comeback in progress. Real now you're, comeback, now you'll see, a proper comeback. Yeah, a real yeah. legitimate comeback, which was just about the player. A you comeback know? which deserves the guile theme. Right. <laughs> not, not just yeah, yeah. any old comeback, yeah. like, just because you did so, ultra. So things you like Ultras, far. things like X Factor. I mean, X Factor, how can you really appreciate a Phoenix comeback on Marvel? No, I'm sorry, You, you man. cannot I appreciate have no respect. it. No, I don't have re not, not respect for it, but I'm mm. just saying, exactly. That I'm not, I'm not saying that people it? who use Phoenix are not good crap. players. I'm yeah, just no, saying... Yeah. I'm just saying, as a game design, yeah. it's not really something you can really appreciate, and and go home being proud of that victory and talk about it with everyone. Yeah, you know, look at I this. I made a sick comeback. Yeah, you can't. I had X Factor Phoenix level five. Yeah, and and, and a Dark Phoenix. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sick, man. Imagine, imagine if we had made. like ESPN. I did one move and it took half their energy off. <laughs> imagine I'm if back. we had like ESPN for like gaming, right? Yeah. And then you know, it's sort of like the after hours review of the highlights of the main event that took place, like yeah. Evo or whatever. And then it goes to the highlights. And you're like, and look at this amazing comeback from Phoenix, and it cuts to the the footage, yeah, yeah. and you just see Phoenix rinse out, just throw five, <laughs> just throw a couple files, and that's it off. You yeah, know, like exactly. that's not really something that makes gaming look good, or it doesn't make it look like it requires intelligence and stuff like that. I you know. know, but look, and, I mean, and, but but uh, this is what I'm saying to you. Like, games I'm just, are not real life. We have to remember of course, that games of course. are not real life. But so. there are elements in gaming that relate to any sport you can think of. So. Yeah, yeah. It's. I think gaming is a place where it can go either way. You could go so outside of reality that it's literally just something that exists in alternate reality, and that's yeah. it. Or you could actually go into something that makes it a viable sport. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's at the stage now where you could be looked at in either way. I mean, look. This is. I mean, these are not like. I mean, we're not saying because the thing is, the games are popular. People yeah. are playing the games. Of course. We're not saying yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a bad game. No. Of what we're saying not. is like. You I'm know, just talking about in relation to real sport. Yeah, to yeah. just exactly in relation to a real sport. Yeah, yeah. And just so people are aware of the aspects of it as mm. well. And maybe if you know, obviously Capcom do listen to, to, <laughs> their, you know, to their, so they can just like, I guess take 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 this feedback and maybe have tournament mode mm. where there is there are no like <coughs> sick compacts or something. I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah I mean they're, they're that's actually not a bad idea at all. Yeah. If you had a tournament mode where when you, only when you're using the tournament mode you won't allow the comeback factors to be part of the match. Yeah, yeah. You know, so in the tournament mode, I mean, I don't know though because, you know, I think that's something that's going to be very uh, debatable whether that would be like a viable thing to do. Yeah. But if you had Street Fighter 4 with, because it's going to present questions like if you had Street Fighter 4 with no ultras, would that impair certain characters to the point where they were no longer viable oh, in the same, yeah, like, you exactly. know, the Ultra is a big part of, of, well, of, of every character's game, but when you take the Ultra out, does that then affect the, the tier list, you know, do, does it change, That's you really know, what does it change, actually, you know, yeah, and exactly. so I think um, those it's things like, would have to be considered, you know. Like, for example, if um, Sagat it has, uh, like, okay, let's say Ryu has a full stock of no, all right, let's see. That's it. If Abel has his ultra, he can go through fireballs with that, right? And so if the matchup yeah. changes when a character has Yeah, the ultra, if Abel does not have his ultra, yeah. and you've got Sagat spamming tiger shots, it's, it's going to be quite difficult yeah. for Abel to close the distance. Yeah. And things like that are going to be needed to... Are gonna, are gonna, I mean, I don't know that, because let, let's say, okay, he's got EX wheel kick, which goes through projectiles. Yeah. Not that hard storm reaction. It's okay. a backwards command, yeah, yeah. you know. So, I mean... Thing is, though, for Abel, is I just, it would be quite tough to build me to. I'd imagine. Yeah. With a character like Abel to actually build me to would be tough because. Well, no, because he can build Ultra quite easily. But no, this is this is the non-Ultra mode we're talking oh, about. No, okay, we're okay. talking about when there's no Ultras. Oh, okay. So if he were, if it was if the if the example matchup we're using is Abel oh, versus so he's Sagat. he's just focusing fireballs, but he's not getting. Any but he's not getting anything it. for it. Yeah, oh my god. He's just building Grey Life and and. and you know, sort of raising the pressure for himself. There's no way. That's not going to work. I can see He's increasing away. pressure yeah, for him, you know, exactly, for himself. Yeah. So this is what I mean is so... But, taking the Ultras out of, you know, the equation for the moment, if Apple did get Sagat down, yeah. with his mix-up game, using the roll, you know, using the, the Marseille roll, yeah. the the, uh, the TTs, on, you know, Crouching Fierce or Crouching Light into Stand so Fierce. So they'd have to improve that a little bit to but get no, in. But, but I'm, what I'm saying is that mix-up would still be quite immense for Sagat to take on. 
because he's a big frame once without he's on the floor. Ultra, yeah, oh, the yeah even even thing, without yeah. Ultra, yeah. Apple could still be he a. He has to get in first. He'd be That's a dominant force once he was in. Yeah. He could focus fireballs to get in. He could focus tiger shots to get in and pressure him like that. So what I'm saying to you is, just because he can't fight the long range game doesn't mean it's not a viable matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think that maybe a non-Ultra mode might be uh, something to be considered for the future yeah. if Capcom won't ever make. You know, a game that's uh, going to be viewed as something to be taken on as Let a serious esport game. Oh, well, sorry, sorry. After this, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, as a serious esport game or as a sport, so to speak. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, cool. So I uh, just want to let the the stream, the viewers know that the next match is going to be uh, uh, F uh, WW well, Western Walls Mad Cats uh, F Word versus uh, Isam. So that'll be the next match up. It's going to be. Uh, uh, Ibuki versus Dudley, so stay tuned for that. This match is this first attempt is almost over. Uh, we're gonna stick Street Fighter 4 on straight straight away up this, so that we don't waste any time. That's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, actually, you know, first attempts, as you said, don't take an hour. So if we start straight after this, then probably after that one, we might even be back on the schedule that back we initially put out. Again. So yeah, exactly, that'll be yeah. good. We started right, at cool. 6:30 today because we're just waiting for people to come in. Uh, to, to the office, they right. had arrived a little bit late, and also yeah. it's all right. So it's nine seven. Oh, now. nine okay. seven to Doctanian. Yeah. Uh, so all right. So Cheech actually holding it down here because he doesn't play this that much, does he? I, I don't know actually. Yeah. I, I don't think Cheech actually plays this that much. So um, yes, yeah, this is a good, this is a good showing from him. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a new game. It's always hard when you're new to oh, a fighting game. Look at that. Yeah, he that was really nice footy the, the there. Long hands, yeah. yeah but he's been hitting that uh, quite a lot, so it's a really, really good uh, reaction time him. I, I find it a bit slower than on Street Fighter 4. This game is slower than that, Street Fighter 4. That long yeah. arms, yeah. I find it a lot easier to react on this in comparison to Street Fighter 4. Yeah. Um, but with that said, Dalsim's still a very, very strong force on this game. His yeah. range is uh, is really good in certain matchups. Yeah. You've also got this screen to look at as well, but I don't know, probably the reflection is yeah. causing some issues. <laughs> Whatever you find easier, really. They're actually playing on the, the smaller screen below, they aren't are, they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got a couple of we were watching it here before, but... Um, I've turned it off just in case that was what was causing the Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, that makes sense. So, All right. uh, so yeah, 9-7, and... Um, I see, yeah, Doctanians. Oh, I was going to say he's got the life lead, but it's about even now. Tags in. The Yoga Sniper, Chun Li in now. And only 25 seconds on the clock. And they're, play, they're both playing very safe. Like, Dog wants to close oh, this yeah. out. Oh, he dropped a link there. That could have been the round. Oh. 20 nice seconds on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> but who's going to win this now? It would be. It's quite well, even. It's, it's actually Cheech at the moment. Oh, no. I think it's actually Doctanium. Oh, there's uh, a frame trap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that could, uh, it. Oh, empty jump into low cross up. Was waiting for a wow. cross up. And, and Pandora. Is that to waste time? Oh, no, that's, that's to kill him. <laughs> Watch this. Ultra. Oh no, they oh, missed, missed the ultra, it. but still so, he gets it. So he it still though. won, right, because he had a full okay. bar. So it's match match point now. Oh no, he lost. Blanka lost. What? I'm surprised, man. Oh, oh no, because oh. timeout, timeout. Oh, okay. So the Pandora actually cost him that round. He didn't actually need to activate Pandora. Oh. Timed out on the Pandora, you mean? Yeah. Oh, no, so but he didn't actually kill him before yeah, he could... Yeah. It's you either you kill or you get or you die. Yeah, oh, but he didn't actually need to activate Pandora is what I mean. I think he oh, could have just yeah, he yeah, just, exactly. just carried just on. Confirmed it, yeah. Wanted to be flash. And Cheech looking good to bring this to 9-8 now, which is gonna be yeah. uh, quite pressuring. Yeah. Especially when you had it won already. <laughs> oh look at that. Okay. You prefer to just uh, keep his distance. So I see guys on stream looking forward to Marvel, which is going to be coming up in a bit. Yeah, Marvel. Is that coming up next, or is that? Uh, let's have a quick look at the schedule again. I think it's um, I think it's uh, F word. It's it's F word yeah, next. Yeah, It's F word uh, versus um, versus Isam, Isam next, and, and then, then and it will be Marvel. And then after Marvel. That. After yeah, we'll after. have right, so Zach will join us. Zach Bennett uh, will join us from Dignitas. Uh, and Shout uh, out to Dignitas. Yeah, and uh, who else? Uh, he'll be playing How to Read, which is uh, he's already here. So score is now 9-8. There's 9-8, okay. Wow, oh, first attack there from Dalsin. What? That was a really nice crash and uh, fierce from Sekiro. So, like, so far, like, I'll, I'll have a look at how long this first attempt took, but it's because, like... But it's cost Tekken's two characters, isn't it? And they're yeah. waiting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's, a very, it's a very, very defensive game in, in you know, what well, it can be a very, very defensive can, yeah. game. They've actually made it, they've actually improved it a lot, actually now made it less defensive than, mm. than it was before, which is, which is nice, actually. Yeah, yeah. This is actually my favourite stage. Why? There's bare things going I, on. I, I, do, I do like the whole Hollywood movie scene thing where you've got, like, this beast of a mammoth in the background trying to <laughs> chase down 
like, I don't know, that hovercraft. A hovercraft, and, why? And, and then why is that Are they on another hovercraft, a bigger one? Oh, I can see, like, some fan engine at the back there. I don't think uh -huh. it's a hovercraft. Oh, no, no, sorry, yeah. They're, they're, they're like two two hovercrafts. So, like, I don't know, Jurassic Park-esque. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to say about that uh, I, I do the, like the this stage, stage. The music's kind of cool as well. It is, I like the, the music. Now, the actually, if you, um, I think if the uh, thing actually catches that one eventually. Oh, yeah, the... the, the I think what happens at the beginning... Or does it like, crash or it, something? It crashes. It, it, it makes a hole... The, 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 the elephant... The, the, sorry, the mammoth makes a hole in the ground and falls yeah. through or something. I can't remember. I can't remember either. I know what some stage, or at least on another version, <laughs> yeah. there was a point where that thing crashes and it gets it or something. But yeah, maybe that's uh, not in this version anymore. So I remember on tr being on Tringy mode and it never actually caught the thing. So I was like, oh, okay. Maybe that was a different thing. Different mode. Two seconds left, one, and Cheech steals it at the end of that Chun Li combo. So Doc Tanyan on um, game point, but not being able to uh, get it done here. I think Cheech is doing well to to save these match points. He's uh, doing well under the pressure, indeed. Yeah. But that's what happens a lot of the time. Um, you so know, the so pressure will wake people up. Yeah, exactly. You know, that, yeah. Having that pressure. Excel under pressure. Of course. Set up, gets behind with the, sh the light shock and <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, he uses Wasting that a bar to get, to get in maybe because is she hard to get in on? Chum? I um, oh, punish. If she's, oh, if she's playing a really strong ground game, Charlie can be hard to get in. Yeah. On. So, like, li listen, Ryan, what's your stance on like in the middle of a first of ten? Yeah. To be able to change character halfway. I mean. I think I, said, I, I think I, those things should be agreed before the match. I yeah, mean, if you're yeah. going to have it be something that's just about one character versus one character, then that should be agreed. And if it's you know a multi-character thing, yeah. then that should be agreed to because the strategy is completely different. If yeah. you know you've got multiple characters in your arsenal, or exactly. if you have to go the whole hog with one character, yeah. so I think that needs to be talked about. But I think either is completely fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I I agree with yeah. you there. If it's tournament, obviously you use anyone you want of because course. there's money on the line and stuff like that. If you agree beforehand, it's just going to be And then, you know, obvious, obvious rules, you know, that's fine, yeah. obvious rules, only loser can change, stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. These, these are all, yeah. yeah. Thing is, you know what, man? That's an obvious rule, you say obvious, but at the end of the day... Why would you change after winning? No, I mean, maybe someone feels like they'll they'll do even better, or they want to, you know, mess, up, up mess their opponent up by yeah. changing their character. I mean, yeah. that's also a, a, an option as well. Yes, no, but then what you were... the hovercraft is but gone, but they're actually on the hovercraft now. Or was... Oh, no. Yeah, that's, see, that's something... The other one's gone now. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait a second, so... There oh. was two before, you see? So the other one must have crashed or something. Fades out the EX bird kick. Oh, oh Dog Tanyan it. takes it. 10-8. Dog Tanyan. It's uh, taking it. See, um, but going back to your other point, 